we are really passionate about how technologies, those technologies that changed our lives over the past 10, 20 years, now are entering physical space. It's about the internet becoming internet of things and changing the way we interact with, uh, with the building or with our cities. So that's really what, uh, what we're passionate about. Mobility will certainly be one of the key factors that's going to change because of the Internet of Things. If you think about self-driving cars, they're just in a possible consequence of it. The interesting thing about self-driving cars is not the fact that you don't need to drive them. The key thing is that it can be shared much better. The car can give you a lift in the morning when you go to your office, and then can give a lift to somebody else in your family or to anybody else in the city. So what you're doing, you create a hybrid system in between public and private transportation. Data is just a consequence of digitization. Digitization means we turn the physical space into a digital copy, and then we can play with the digital copy. So data is just you know, the consequence of internet and internet of things. Now, there's a big problem today, which is who has access to data? Is that big companies or big states have more access to data than others, or for instance, than individuals like you and I? Um, and so I think it's going to be very important tomorrow to see who has access to the data, how should data be edited, controlled, and so on. And my general idea is that as much as possible, we should actually move the competition from owning the data. Owning the data is just going to create monopolies to actually the competition being on the analytics of the data, on the intelligence. We should compete against the intelligence, not against the ownership of the data. And if we do it, if we're able to do it, we can create a much fairer and more in a faster evolving society. The city of the 20th century was really shaped by the automobile. In a similar way, this new mobility system will have a very strong impact on the physical form of the city. I'll just tell you a couple of points. One is about parking spaces. You know, most likely with self-driving cars, we need less parking because the car can keep on, you know, moving people around without need to be static and stopping somewhere. And so, you know, we could reclaim a lot of parking spaces in our cities all over the world. And then the other thing that would be very important to look at uh, is, you know, well, are we going to see our cities expand even more with sprawl because of self-driving? Because you can keep on sleeping in the car, you know, you don't need to, to be at the steering wheel, so you could use the car as an office and actually live even further apart. Well, if this happens or not, will depend a lot on the regulations we put in place.